And a major part of our show today is focusing on women. Now we're talking about women and communication. Um, studies have revealed that um, when it comes to communications, only 25% of what we communicate, which is words. So a good uh, the rest basically 75 percent is mostly non-verbal well i have with me two women from um speak well who are going to be telling us about communication and especially as women how we can become more effective communicators i have with me francis Boating, who's a co-founder of speak well and also lillian Ose, who's a greater accra regional director of speak well and they both uh, they both join us right now so francisca and then lillian Good morning, how are good, you? Good, good morning. morning. Okay, so I mean, we're told that, you know, when it comes to communication, the majority of, the, of our communication, so 75% is non-verbal. Um, so with, with that said, would you say then, I guess, when it comes to speaking, it's about the whole package, it's not just what comes out of your mouth, it's how your body language is and everything as well? It is about your, but it's about everything, about you as a person. Eye contact your tone, your pose, and even how you deliver your gestures. So it's not just words. You could be talking about something exciting, but if you are there just showing no excitement, nobody will receive that. So it's really about how you deliver the message in terms of your actions, making eye contact, how you speak, even the tone of your voice. There's a whole lot that affects your speech. It's not only reading stuff of the script. You have to also be passionate about what you are speaking. And Speak Well's main goal is to show women and to individuals to speak, to share their stories, to use passion, to um, aim high, mm. to also um, to know that they are not alone. A lot of times there's a lot of fear that comes when you think, I'm alone, I'm fearful, I can't do this. But when you know others have gone through it and with learning the skill of delivering, they've been able to do it. You can achieve a better um, speech than just doing it on your own, saying, oh, I'm just so afraid, Mm -hmm. I won't even share my story. Okay. I mean, International Women's Day is tomorrow. Um, You know, and a lot of... One of the things I've personally noticed is I think, especially young females, a lot of times they can be really confident with their friends. Like when they're talking, and then as soon as they get in front of an adult, an authority figure... They can't even look at you. Now, is it is is, is is it important to be confident in every at every step, especially as a female? Yeah, you have to be confident because um, when you meet a crowd, you are taught how to come out, to communicate with them, to draw their attention, to get them involved in your communication. So it is very important. You just don't come and then um, you because you see a crowd. And you just become free. You be, mm. Some people they start fidgeting, and it's not the best. You have to come out because people need to hear you. People need to follow your ideas. People need to buy into your story. So you need to turn on your voice and then communicate in a way that mm. you'll be appreciated. And then whatever you are giving them, you'll be able to impact into them. So it is not just about you feeling comfortable with people around you, but also making known what you have to other people so that it will become beneficial to them mm. so you need to turn is it that voice. easy because somebody would just say that well it's easy for you you do it you mm. speak on podiums is it just that easy as because some people it's just a, a character trait uh, it's not easy okay. but it's a skill that you can learn okay. and speak well's goal it's also to build a person as an individual because it does not matter how skilled you are if you don't have the confidence to deliver Nobody will hear your story. So we also empower people. That's really part of our process. Um, We use the acronyms S-P-E-A-K and E is to empower. Mm. We empower people to have the confidence, to know who you are because if you don't know who you are, you can't deliver. You can be a medical doctor, but if in in your heart you feel like um, a nurse, you can't be a doctor. So your, your, your vocation has to come with with a a certain level of confidence. Mm. If you're a market woman, you have to know you're a market woman and you are selling. It doesn't, public speaking is not just speaking in front of an audience. It's speaking to the individual, even to your parents. It's public speaking. If you can't share, your parents, you, you have a discussion and they want you to be a doctor, but you want to be a lawyer. If you can't voice it out and tell your parents, I believe God has 
have given me the ability to be a lawyer and that's what I want to be. Don't, your parents won't even listen if you can't confidently tell them. Yeah. Okay. So it's important to be confident. But it's a skill that's learned. And also, you know, we have a God that really blesses us with that. So we are here to empower people to have that confidence to be able to speak out. Okay, how do you, what advice would you give to females watching that say, okay, fine, it's a skill that I can learn, I can nurture, but maybe I may not be able to, I'm far away, I, I don't have a, I can't come to speak well. Um, what, what are the things they can do at home with, you know, by themselves or with their friends that can help to start develop? you know, and start to build that skill set. Um, Big Wall is coming up with CDs to help aid people on their own to develop the skills so that even in the house or in the office or wherever you find yourself, you can still play it and follow suit to learn to develop the skills so that you now become self-confident and turn on your voice wherever you find yourself, irrespective of who you are and what you stand for in society. And before you get a CD and whatever, you can start by practicing the P, mm. by perfecting your story, using passion. So you can call your siblings. You can call your parents and start mm. speaking to them. You can have a sibling interview you and, mm. and also be willing to accept constructive criticism. Maybe they said you didn't do well. Mm. You, you perfected next time. So it's a process. It's not one day I'm perfect. I can speak in front of an audience and everything is flawless. You have to daily work on it. So the P is to perfect it, to share your story and perfect it with passion. You have to, it's a skill. So daily at home, practice it. Call your sisters. Call maybe a church, a small group. Start practicing there. Do it from your comfort zone. And as you build your confidence, then you launch out. Yeah. Okay, um, before we end up on this, I want to talk about sometimes miscommunication. As women, a lot of times, um, especially around men, some women may get in a situation, even in business or even in a, in a work environment, a school environment, when the man thinks a woman is being communicating sex or is, you know, turning them on or maybe they they're showing interest when maybe that female that's like the last thing on their mind how can you discern that you know within and without going maybe overstepping the line because maybe that's just you you're naturally very flirtatious or in your manner how, how can you draw the lines effectively as a female we are different men are from mars if you've read the book we are different and um what a man would think um as flirtation flirting with them would, would be different from what a woman de- yeah. thinks but what we do uh, in terms of relating to the other gender it's, it's all about learning you know sometimes women we are passionate about we we are over passionate about certain things sometimes it's not even anger but a man will take it as angry or uh, sometimes it's just um um, we get too emotional. These are things you learn. You know when to use emotion and when not to. When to speak and when not to. When to use gestures and when not to. So you have to, and you have to know your audience. You can't go in front of ministers and start using different gestures. What would they think? And you, that's, that's a way to communicate to different people. So one thing you have to know is you have to know your audience and know how to communicate with them. The same way you speak to your husband will not be the same way you speak to your boss. Mm. The same way you speak to your brother will not be the same way you speak to your pastor. You have to know your audience. If it's a pastor I'm speaking to, there's a level of respect. If it's my brother, if it's my husband, yes, I can show certain things that my husband will accept. My boss wouldn't. So we have to know. So it's all a process. You don't just get up and know everything. That's why we are here to teach those skills for people to know how to really communicate, even um, in terms of who my audience is. What, how do I communicate to this specific audience? All right, I want to say thank you very much. We're out of time on this. I want to say a big thank you to Francesca and also to Lillian, both from Speak Well. Thank you very much.